One thing is talk about also lifespan means how long it lasts, right? Trust, you know, like, you know, pitch roof, you should be talking about the trust because the structural wise itself is very stable and using multiple member to, you know, also is a manufacturer, like, you know, engineering. So they doing prefab, right? So those, those trusses usually in very stable and very strong uh, structure. So that one, they will last longer because they get less deflection. And, but versus the fat roof, because it's just a one, two by 12, one piece of your So in long time, in long term run, it was got deflection by individual members, right? If you compete it long time, like lifespan time, the flat roof relatively will have shorter due to the deflection of, you know, each piece of wood by itself. As I said, talk about last thing is about the maintenance and repair. Like I say, because trust is very stable, right? And also with the substantial slope, you do not have that much of water pump. But the main problem you will have for the roof is leaking. But if you have a roof like this, water won't stay in rain time, waters go away, right? So for trust pitch roof, the one of the very important advantages, you almost don't have the, the leaking problem. Now some roof has, but uh, the leaking problem is not because of the roof, usually because of the labor. When they do the roofing, they pound nail and, and you know penetrate the roof that makes it like leaks, okay? Or when they do the PV panel or solar panel, when they do the, the base um, to the anchoring, they gotta you know, screw it to the roof deck and then they penetrate and then create the leaks in future. But otherwise, by the trust itself, we get very minimum problem of leaking. Versus flat roof, usually it will get higher chance for leaks because like I say, if the labor of the contractor, they do not have enough skill experience doing flat roof and they, they just lay off all the two by 12 on the roof, treat it like regular four frame and then they screw the wood there and go with the roofing on top. That will create those like the bumping, right? Make the roof have ponding issue. Once get ponding, you know, then that part, the puddle, like let us say when you have a one surface, Face, right think about this if you have this one part because when you screw the, the deck underneath this member this wood member is like how a little bit deflected already and then when you do the fastening the screw you press it down so it have some part of the deck uh, become like a alcove right so when rain time this, this portion it will become like a pond and then when sun come up again the sun heating the the roof so the roof getting hot but this pump of water is still cool at least the underneath this portion the roof temperature is still cool versus when it go out go beyond this ponding the boundary is very very hot right so you see the same material one side is cool with the water and the other side is hot and we know that by the material when it got hot it expand when it is cool it straight so it will create a stress between along this boundary of the ponding so, and then days by day, times of times about this rain, you know, pond, hot, you know, that this boundary will start getting cracked because of the tear, the tearing, right? If one side is stretching, one side is shrinking, it's a create a, a stress then and it will start getting cracked and starting the leaks. But is it no way to no way to resolve it? And actually, that's possible to resolve. Uh, there is two ways to reduce this uh, ponding issue nowadays. One is instead of using regular two by twelve, you know, doing wood construction. Now a lot of people they doing wood construction for the roof framing. They use two by twelve, right? But instead of using two by twelve, there's two options they can do. Is one is using TGI joist. TGI joist is like a, almost like an I beam. They have one two by and another two by in the bottom, and then in between is uh, high wood. So there's an engineer uh, beam or engineer joist. That kind of joist is absolutely strict because it makes from the manufacturer. Second one is using light gauge metal. Light gauge metal stud, you know, or light gauge metal joist, like 12 inch joist. Instead of using two by 12 wood, using two by 12 metal. Now metal joist is absolutely strict. So now if you're using metal joist to do your roof deck, because the two are, it's all straight. Now then when you put your deck on the wood deck on top, when you screw then your surface, you have less chance for getting the ponding issue. Now then the flat will become doable and also can save some labor. So this is a possible solution. That's what I'm thinking of you know, today. I seen that a lot of contractor, they, when they head into this uh, roof issue, some of them, they don't, they just don't want to do flat roof. And basically the reason is because they say they will get pounding issue and to them is a no cure, no solution. Okay, there's always, always have this problem. But, you know, actually, you know, we can use, you know, we are not stick with just two by 12. When we have new material, we can use it, utilize it to resolve problems. So using metal stuff for roof rafter, a roof joist, also using TGI joist is possible.
So now, there's a how in between when we talk about between pitch roof or flat roof, the difference. So now, in this conclusion here, how do we choose? I would say it really matters to how do you value your house. As a homeowner, how do you value your house? What is important to you? Consider factor is this. Okay, one is the initial cost. So a lot of owners, they see the house at initial cost, how much they build. But actually, initial cost, uh, when we first say, time, wow, that is like doing flat roof, doing uh, pitch roof is like you know five fifty thousand different okay uh, because the total cost of roof uh, let's say fifty thousand difference but look at this fifty thousand not different is maybe initial cost while you look at that is kind of big but most people we know that is after you build a house you got to do is refinance right you refinance with a regular mortgage of 30 years then now this fifty thousand dollars will be distributed to become a 30 years mortgage so now then every month right every month you're talking about maybe few hundred dollars difference for your mortgage few hundred dollars difference so now look at that point if it is a long term for your house but with this couple more hundred dollar difference right to your home mortgage do you want that do you want this like maybe a modern look of your house right okay this is one thing you, you know you will think about that and second of all is we sell value now we know if to build a house they like to stay there some people they want to stay there for 20 years 30 years you know for even maybe the next generation but some people think oh you know maybe 10 20 years i will sell it right now for sell owner occupy this is called long term right now for we sell that part Okay, nowadays, because like I say, the trend for flat roof is the, is the trend. So it gets better look when you put in the market. So in other words, also because of some design feature advantage, let's say when you do flat roof, you can have higher ceiling, like you can get nine feet or even 10 feet, 10 feet ceiling, you know, first floor, second floor. Now, these kind of feature is increase the market value of your house. So those things you can consider, you know, when you're doing a flat roof and also that become your, you know, future resale value. And also, but in short term, why not? Short term is different means I'm a, I'm a developer or contractor. I want to build a house to sell it. Now that is different calculation because flat roof costs more money. But after you build this, how much, you know, you can sell compared with like hip roof. Now that is the one thing is developer got to consider, got to calculate because basically you, you build it, you immediately sell it. Right, for it versus long term is different. Long term wise, okay, first of all is in long term the uh, real estate, you know, property, it will go up. You know, it will go up. You know, for long 10 years, 20 years later, you know, the property value it will go up. So basically for the owner he, he won't lose. But to just when we do the flat roof design uh, with a modern design, then the future they get more higher value for the resale. For short term means immediate developing, you know, contract the buying house and sell immediate, that will be a different concern that they have to, you know, they have to really like calculate it. But in here I don't want to go very deep on that. Okay. Now and then the last one is personal or family enjoyment. Means, you know, what do you like to see when you go back to your house every day? Is it worth it? Are you willing to put some money for your own or your family enjoyment? Means you go home, your family go home, do you enjoy this space? Some owner, they only looking at the cost, initial cost, they want a cheap house, uh, everything cheap cost. And, but after they build the house, they start feeling regret because every time you have to go home, the house looks so plain, only white paint, white, white wall, white floor, white ceiling, old tradition, old design of the cabinet, but there's a new, okay, but it's an old design. Everything is a, like, ordinary outdated design and they stay they stay there they do i mean every day and the mortgage it doesn't doesn't save it for 30 years mortgage it doesn't make the mortgage only like uh, i can save them like five thousand a month for mortgage maybe save them a thousand dollars a month mortgage but what they give up is they give up any or so-called fancy stuff right so they with the minimum sitting high eight feet and then all the material is just the ordinary, the like you know, middle and low level or products. Some people they, they feel regret. Oh, wh why I gotta do that? Why be, this is my own house? But because for that thousand dollar less of mortgage, why I have to suffer like that? You know, some people regret on that. And now this is one thing. If this is your own home, then I will ask a question: Are you willing to you know pay for it for your home, your family enjoyment? Now, this is to me. This is very important things to look at that way. You're not just build a house and you know selling to somebody else and you walk away. If you stay there, you kind of stay there for 20 years, right? With your family. So you better think about that is, do I, you know, want it? Do I really want to pay for it to getting 
my video for your own enjoyment. Now, today, this is what I want to share with you guys. So if you have any comment, any question, feel free to email us. I can answer you. And also, uh, before we finish, okay, do us four things. Okay, Give us a like, leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe us and share this with your friend. Thank you very much.